Welcome to eMedia Podcast, Emmanuel Church's very own podcast platform. Here, you'll find our latest sermon series and our weekly podcast show episodes based on a variety of topics impacting us here on Delmarva and around the world. Every single week, together, we'll unpack those topics, ranging from the fun and lighthearted stuff to even the more serious discussions. But we'll use the Word of God as our guide. Be sure you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Also, download the Emmanuel Church app so you're staying up to date with all that's happening here at Emmanuel Church. Now, here's our latest episode from the eMedia Podcast. Hey, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Devos with Pastor D. I'm going to be looking today at Luke chapter 8. I'm going to read from verse 49 to 56. But before I do that, I want to set the context here, what's going on. We see Jairus, this synagogue leader, who has come to Jesus, and he's asking Jesus to go with him to his house because his daughter is very sick. In fact, she is, she is dying. And we see this woman with the issue of blood come on the scene and Jesus is on demand, right? And, and he feels this tug on, it, on his garment and it is this lady with the issue of blood. So all these things are taking place in that moment as Jairus is patiently waiting for Jesus to come to his house to heal his daughter. And then we're gonna pick up on verse 49. It says, while Jesus was still speaking, Someone came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, he said. Don't bother the teacher anymore. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, don't be afraid, just believe and she will be healed. And when he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John and James and the child's father and mother. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She is not dead, but asleep. They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned, and at once she stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astonished, but he ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. Notice how he said in verse 54, my child, get up. I want to talk to you today on the subject of you got to get back up. God has given you a plan, a purpose, a dream, a vision for your life. And some of you, because something has happened and gotten in the way of that, you're sitting down and you feel like giving up today. You feel like your situation looks dead. It looks hopeless. I want you to know that you got to get back up. In this text, we see that Jairus went to Jesus and he says, look, you got to go heal my daughter. You need to heal her. She is sick. In fact, she is dying. But notice how at that point she was just sick. But while Jairus was waiting on Jesus to come to his house, when everything was going on and Jesus was on demand, meanwhile, the servant comes in to Jairus and says, hey, don't bother the teacher anymore. Your child is dead. I want to talk to you because some of you have gone from sick to dead. And because you're gone from sick to dead, it's interfering with the hope that you have in your situation. Sick meaning that you once had hope of the thing that God has spoke over your life, the thing that God has given you, the dream, the purpose, the desire of your hearts. And because of something happening, you've had pain, you've had disappointment, you've been discouraged. So you're sitting and you're you're sick. But because you've been sick for so long, how many of you know death sometimes can be a slow process? You've been sick for so long, you have become dead, meaning that you feel like your situation looks hopeless and you've given up on God. In fact, it has affected the way you pray. You used to once have hope over your situation. You used to think that, you know what? Nothing is impossible. God can do this. But because you've been sick for so long, it has interfered with your prayer life and you have given up, it has become dead. But I want you to know this, that it's time for you to start, stop or start bothering the teacher again. Right. And, and notice how when the servant came and talked to Jairus and said, hey, don't bother the teacher any in, again, your child is dead. Some of you are listening to voices of other people coming in your situation, your dream, your purpose, your goal that God has given you, and you're letting them dictate how you're going to run your race. You're letting them tell you that the situation is dead. Why are you even trying? You need to move on to something else. This is dead. It's lifeless. It's hopeless. Why are you even trying anymore? 
Maybe the voices that you're listening to are yourself. Voices of insecurity, voices of doubt, not believing in yourself. But I want you to know today, you've got to speak to those voices because God is not done with you yet. Just because your situation looks dead, just because your situation looks hopeless, and because you've been sitting there for so long waiting and feeling disappointed, I want you to know that God didn't give you your child. God didn't give you your vision. God didn't give you your ministry for you to sit back and watch it die. Last time I checked, I serve a miracle working God. You serve a miracle working God. And just because uh, you feel like God has killed something in your life or just because you look at it and it seems dead, I want you to know that sometimes God kills it so that you realize that he has something better for you. And sometimes he does it so that he can show you that he has the power to bring it back to life. And the problem is many of us become stuck in the closed doors, the doors that close in our life. We get stuck there and we're sitting there and we're not getting back up and believing in ourselves again. You're sitting there looking at the closed doors, looking at the nose in your life, but we need to celebrate the nose. It's about time that you start talking to the nose of your life and realizing that God is saying, you know what? I want you to know that you might think that your situation looks hopeless, but I have some Something better for you. You need to get back up. Jesus responded in this text, in this moment, I think it's verse 54, where he says, do not be afraid, just believe. Do not be afraid, just believe. Because Jesus knew what Jairus was thinking on the inside before he even said a word. Jesus knows what you're thinking on the inside before you even say a word today, before doubt comes in your life, before grief comes in, before bitterness comes in. He is saying, look, I'm sending you a word today. Don't be afraid, only believe. It's time for you to start believing again. It's time for you to get back up. It was easy for Jairus to believe that his daughter was dead. In fact, Jairus had more faith that she could die than he did that she could be healed. Sometimes when we pray, we have more faith that it won't happen instead of it being able to happen. I want you to know that God can do it, that God has given you the dream that you think is dead. God has given you the purpose of your life. He has great plans and great purpose for your life. And I want you to know that the same God that has done miraculous things in your life in the past is the same God that can do it today. He will do it, but we need to approach him a, a little bit more. We need to come to him, stop coming to church to look good and come to church bothering God again, saying, God, you know, I might, I might look at the situation and think it's dead, but God, I I know what you spoke over my life and I know what you said to me and I know that your plan is to prosper me not to harm me and I believe that someone needs to hear that today that you need to get back up you've been you've been dealing with things a long time you've gone from sick to dead and God is able to speak life into your situation so I want to encourage you that with that today and I want you to know that God is able but you got to get back up let's pray Lord Jesus I thank you God for how you use stories in your word to help speak to situations that seem dead in our life. God, I, I thank you, Lord, that you were the God that went into Jairus's house, Lord. Uh, the, the daughter that was dead, God, you brought back to life. Someone today needs to be brought back to life in their faith brought back to life and, and encouragement instead of discouragement. God, whatever the case may be today, someone needs to be reminded that they need to get back up, to stop being afraid, stop letting fear, doubt, and insecurity rob them of the plan and purpose that you have for their life. So God, I speak blessings over your people today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Divas with Pastor D. I look forward to seeing you guys next week.